is my piece by piece video on fortitude from the virtue card series. Um, with fortitude, the classical depiction of fortitude often had her in the present dress, war uniform, but only sort of. She would be wearing a dress with the helm or just some armor. Um, and because of modernity and there being women as soldiers and women in combat and all of that, um, I didn't want to use the exact classical form, um, but I did want to retain that drama while maintaining a very specific and intentional femininity. So I decided to go back and I used a model that was based off of a World War I or II, I'm not completely sure, um, Red Cross nurse. Uh, it was a black and white image. I'm sure she wasn't actually wearing blue. Um, that wouldn't have made any sense. But I think that works very well for this um, because it does take internal fortitude to dress wounds. And that's a type of fortitude that's not an application of a sword. And that's the exact point. Um, there's perfectly valid um, fortitude with the application of a sword. It's just not what I was after for this piece. Uh, the classical fortitude um, props are Samson's column um, from when Samson was blinded, captured by the enemy, and he broke the columns um, in his slavery. And then the chained lion, um, and that is a emblem of power and strength and aggression that's been mastered. And then the language of flowers for fortitude, I decided to go with fenogreek, um, which is a little off from the language of flowers. I'm sure there's another flower flower, but I found out fenogreek was a plant that was associated with fortitude. And I just couldn't get past the medicinal applications. It settles your stomach. And because we were going with the nurse in this, that just seemed really, it just went well with it. And then I decided to also go with the cedar trees, which are an emblem of fortitude. So I doubled up on the plant with the symbolism. Um, we're going heavy in greens and blues again, like I did with all the cardinal virtues. And then because I had already started the positive and negative, which is actually, I think, really appropriate for the virtue and the vice, I decided to go with a negative of medicine. And the classical vice under fortitude is uh, a woman who's hung herself. And I didn't want that because once again, just like with um, the more in imprudence, I wanted it to be subtle and something that adult eyes would understand, but didn't have to be a corrupting influence of any kind. So I went with a woman with pills with a note, with an overturned cup. Um, once again, this is the thinned out acrylics that mimic a watercolor or oil overlaying style. I think I did actually say watercolor in a different video, but I, I've been meaning acrylic. Um, it gets confusing between the actual medium and the style you're using the medium, but I'm not trying to be. Um, I was very happy with the way this one turned out. Um, I, I really enjoyed doing the stylizing on these. All of the stylizing in the main color portion is meant to mimic the styles of stained glass windows. And the heavy black line uh, serves two purposes for us. One, it, it looks appropriate because of how many stained glass windows of the virtues have been made. So we wanted to stay with that uh, structure because when, once you find a structure then you have a thing to work within and it, it really helps you progress especially with a big series like these um, but also 
that heavy black line um, will help us as we shrink the images and as we transform the images on other mediums in printing, or at least that's the hope. So this has been Fortitude as part of the Piece by Piece series.